Yo, what is Geek Killer Squad? So we're back on Madden Mobile, and as you guys can see in the title, we got our long-awaited coin-making guide. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a coin-making guide for Madden. Uh, my voice is a little deeper than usual, just because I'm a little, still a little sick. But we are going to be showing you guys how I made coins. I know it took me a little bit of time, but just because I didn't have much time to record this video, and also I had to make sure this, this method worked. So we have a lot of things that we want to talk about. There's like beginner level, medium level, and higher level. So again, let me know in the comments down below if this works for you guys, and let's say like go for 200 likes for this video hopefully it will help you guys out so obviously the first thing we're going to talk about is for beginners if you want to start off in this regular regular thing the best thing to do to get your coins is to do the daily objectives look how much coins you get from this thousand coins thousand coins thousand five hundred coins five hundred five hundred so right there by doing your daily objectives you will get a lot of coins not only that you can go do some um some season games they will help you out as well doing some coins and to give you some free packs as well so that's a very good beginner way to start it off you can also do some live events those are usually really good on coins, especially when you have live events. I don't have it right now, but there's one that gives you mad and mint. You got the legacy events, which is really good, gives you 100 coins. There's some good coin events as well. And as you do all these events, all these daily grind stuff, you get these achievements, which I'll hopefully be able to show you guys. Achievements right here. Now we got long shot. That's obviously one of them that gives you a lot of coins. But like general build a 95 offense. Look at all the coins you get from that. So you get a bunch of coins just by playing the game, season game. Look, you're grinding out. Look how much coins you can get pretty easily. Like in the first week, I got to like 100k just by doing this method. Really easy, especially if you're a beginner. You know, head to head. That will help you out a lot. You know, league games. You just by look, play a game with friends. You will get 500 coins or 150 coins, which is pretty sick. We got tournaments. Also, it's a good way to make coins, as you guys can see. So as we was talking about, just to get coins to start off with the grinding in the beginning you want to do that now when you got a little bit of more coins what you can do is open a bit of packs but don't recommend it unless you get a little more coins so let me show you guys if you go to the marketplace we're gonna go to the store there's a bunch of packs that are pretty decent especially when you go for um, pro packs uh, gold players are going for a little they're, they're more expensive than in later in the game so you can buy a few pro packs and also as you get cash in the game for doing all the daily objectives and all that stuff you can definitely definitely have all these packs going on so right here you know golds um silvers are selling for about 500 500 dollars 500 cat coins so is bronze players so that's actually pretty insane right there you got 2000 plus the gold 6000 so you're not losing that much from these packs silver players are, are should be more expensive than bronzer but about the same price and then if you pull an elite that's like buckets that's already money right there in the bank you're getting like 40k 400k like i'm talking about right whoa i didn't know you can pull this guy holy moly well, I pulled them right here. We got Parker, Hein, Hein, Hing, Hing, I don't know, Ogar, A2 overall, which is good. As you guys see right there, we just definitely pulled a fire pull. And right here, we just paid off for the four or five packs that we opened, guys. You guys can see. It is absolutely amazing. We'll do a few more packs. We can pull another elite. But, you know, just, just bronze players are going for 500, 600. And gold players are going, like, closer to four or 5,000 coins. And then if you want to be a little more ballsy, I don't know if that's the proper word to use. But if you want to gamble a little more, what I like to do is go to sets afterwards. And I like to do the large quick sales and also obviously don't forget you got to do you you got to do these sets every single day 24 7 set that's really good it gives you a free silver player um the wheel of training is really nice the quick sell obviously every five days you'll be able to get a free player so that's actually really useful a quick sell what i like to do is throw the silver players in here because you know what um they sell for as well oh it's two silver players i thought it was only one so yeah each oh i just got a unknown error that's awkward so yeah as i'm recording this the quick sell's not working too well so what you can do is trade in two silver players to get a quick sell silvers are selling for about 500 cash at coins so if you're lucky you can pull anything higher than thousand so that's a gamble this one right here is really good but the gold players that you pull you can pull up to like i pulled 250k live on stream so that's a really sick it's a good way to gamble if you want to gamble your money just a little bit if some gold's lying around you know maybe once or twice a day if you're lucky you can hit lucky street you like Think of it this way, golds, you can sell them for 4K to 5K, but if you take your time and you do this, you might be able to get 12K, 50K, 100K, I got 300K, so that was actually insane. Again, it's luck-based, so I wouldn't recommend it all the time. A good money-making thing would be, see, look, this is the guy I just made, which is pretty insane. I didn't know you could actually make him, so I won't be needing to make this guy. <laughs> I'll, I'll make I'm I'll, I'll make the other guy. I mean CJ Pro size, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, again, live events whenever there's like um new releases. So for example, Team of the Week, and there's also the uh, Power Line. You want to do the live events because then the cards are going for a lot of coins. So that's a good way to do it. You can also trade in silver players for gold players. That's a good way to make coins, especially since golds are going for actually a pretty decent amount of coins. So let's go check. 
we're gonna now show you guys some other methods you can do a little higher level um, this is more like medium because we're talking about some gold players you can actually check out on the auction house so first of all we're gonna show you guys how gold players now if you want to go buy some gold players you can snipe them for let's say if you're lucky 3,000 3,000 is a good price to buy them if you're lucky see right here 3,000 bang 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 you buy a bunch of these I won't buy them right now because I have so many gold I don't want to waste too much my my binder space you buy them that costs 6,000 coins right there and you put them into the quick sell set and bang right there you're making the money with if you're lucky you know obviously it's a gamble I'm not guaranteeing that you will make money all the time with this but like I said I have made money from this because I've pulled like 200k 400k from these packs from the quick sell now those are just the gold if you want to look at the silver players a good way to look at the silver players you're probably around 500 to 600 coins you can snipe them actually pretty easily oh bang 500 you can snipe them for easily 500 yeah exactly 500 to less than that easily 500 you can even get 400 now 400 800 to get those coin packs might be worth it at the time so that's actually pretty good and gold you can snipe them for 2000 see right there it wasn't even a snipe round it was just a regular round that appeared and bronze players those are the expensive one if you can find some for like so they're going for 500 almost instantly if you can find them for 300 to 200 you sell you get them and you can either sell them or you put them into the next set i'm going to show you guys afterwards it is called the game plan set which i will talk about afterwards but we're going to go through and go through some some filters real quick for you guys i'm sure this is some some basic filters you guys might want to use which is a really good one so first one we're going to look up is john ross he is probably the fastest gold receiver in the game uh, whoop he is definitely a gold player um let's see where he's at. i wrote his name right i wrote ross i gotta write ross so bang i think he's selling for yeah uh, geez not jeremy ross john ross give me john ross there you go so he's probably okay so we got none on the auction house right now for 25 so 30k is probably how much you can see one for bang so if you want to buy one if you can snipe one for 20k to even 20 yeah 20k is about the amount you want to snipe them for and you can sell them for about 27k you will make some instant profit from there so that's a good one you can go to jarek mckinnon uh jarek 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 McKinnon. He's selling for about 12k. If you can snipe him for 8k, and a lot of times these guys are going for super cheap because people don't know the value of these cards and they will drop them. So they're going for 10k. So if you can snipe one for 5k or so, like you gotta be patient. You gotta snipe it for 5k and like they go, they, they are very very accessible like a lot of people opening packs are like oh, i don't know how much this is gold probably the same price as gold and they drop it they don't look at the auction house and you can you can make you can take full advantage of this and make some coins off of jerry mckinnon now the next set of gold that are really 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 good value it is if you go to position all the special teams this is all value so all for 12k you will not find them they're all gonna go for like 20k or so now, especially the lower ends the lower ends you can get them for 15k so all the 70 overalls 15k or so so right here bang you can see they're selling for that so you can you snipe them for 10k to 15k you can resell them for 20k and make some instant profit so that's for the medium so if you got a little bit more coins you can spend it and buy these player look at that look at all these kickers these are all like 70 73 overalls and stuff like that and they were automatically sell. so those are the gold player obviously if you want to buy some elite players those are where it's at you get some elite players you get the elite special team players and that's going to be some uh, buckets real good coins uh they're selling for like 60k or so so this is a good way to make coins you can buy they're not even selling for 60k you're sniping for 60k they're most likely going to be selling for like closer to 100k there's a bunch of them so this guy right here is probably a good deal um i think his price is going to go up especially all these 80 punters for 100k or 90k so yeah if you can buy them for like 100k you're definitely not the punters the kickers and stuff they're definitely going to be selling afterwards for like 150k they're the, the punters especially going up in price especially this one right here like you guys can see pun returner kick returner off kicker is definitely the one you want to pick up and finally the main coin making method that i've been using which is the number one the number one that i've been using is if you go to gold collectibles we're gonna go for a price at um 60k that's if you have more coins you know uh, actually you might not even find some 60k you find some at 70 78k it's probably the realistic amount so bang you can buy a bunch of these for 78k 75k I'm gonna buy like um, a few of these. I already have some on my bench, as you guys will see. So think of it this way: we got some some 75k. We'll buy a few more for 75k. So if you have a bit of coins, now the reason why I want to do this is I want to show you guys the elite game plans because the elite game plan is where the money is at. So prices. Um, there is a few of them that's just really good. There's anything that goes to wide receiver that goes deep. It will be worthwhile so there's definitely some for like two mil or so so as you guys can see i paid about 200k for these 
Um, there's going to be obviously some you can get. The two point conversions, the run ones are really good. Uh, so as you guys can see, there is a few of them that's going for a lot of coins, like right here, 100, 1.5 mil, anything with trips basically. Um, there's a running one that is worth a lot of coins. So 225k for this right here, that's about how much you're going to get. If you get anything like the two point passes or play like that, it's not worth anything. They're worth maybe like 200k. You guys have to look it up in the auction house. There are some good ones out there. Like for example, the, um, the running plays right this one right here. This this one usually goes for about like 500k so you're making a bit of profit and anything like that we're gonna try to find some more expensive ones there's like there's one that goes for like two mil which is insane uh where is where is you at there's like the trip tight end also like tight end corner um this is not that good of a play right here see like i said a two point conversions uh short passes no it has to be specific play like right here this one is a good one anything that sends your players deep like play action all goal play action clear out this is going for like 500k realistically. I mean, it's going for 750k or 1.5 mil. It's probably going to go for like 800k or so. So that's a really good pick right there. I think pers personally, if you pull any of them. So let's go ahead and open one or two of these packs and see if we make a little bit of profit from those. So let's go to my set. We are going to go all the way to the bottom. And uh, we're going to go do these elite game plan because that's what we got right here. We're going to do one or two, maybe just one. And we're going to see as long as we don't get the two point conversion. We got ooh post corners and trips deep attack. I think this is worth a lot of coins. We're going to check it out. We got to check post corners. We'll do one more just for you guys so we can see if we get the two point conversion, we can see. And we got triple tight end slot attack. That's actually that's actually empty comeback is a really good one, too. So trips and then uh, post corners. Let's double check the price of these because I know those are better ones they're not just a two-point conversion double check the price of those post corners and trips tight end slot attack so I think that's the one we actually got tight end trips okay so yeah we lost a bit of coins on that one but the post corners I think I saw it was worth some bit of coin post corner post corners where are you at for 400k 500k post corners can we get another one 265k we gain a little bit of coin we, we overall we broke even so if you pull anything fire if you pull like uh, the run play that goes for like 1.2 mil that one's really good i think it's like halfback dive weak and i have halfback weak strong or even the toss is a pretty good one so those are pretty simple like that's probably the most expensive one it's the biggest gamble but it, it can pay off if you can pull like some of these expensive ones it's actually pretty insane so guys that's actually really nice all right that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit a thumbs up don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful for you guys if you made some coins let me know in the comments down below if you want to see my latest videos it's gonna be on the right side of the screen if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make videos on a daily all right i'm out see you guys next time kill it